thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> it was a crazy year. Hi there. Hi, hi, Abigail. How's it going? Yeah, it's good. Good. Sorry, I left you waiting for ten minutes. <laughs> I apologize. It's okay. I, it's okay. Ever, I've been teaching since earlier this morning, and it's like every student was one or two minutes late. So then it just kept adding on top of each other, and now by the end of my classes, it's like ten minutes. So very okay. sorry. About that. <laughs> okay, it's okay, it's okay. How are you, Rebecca? I'm doing fabulous. I'm very cold. It's very cold today, but <laughs> I'm doing good. It's like, let me show you. It's like negative, negative seven. Oh like, my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very cold here. It's so, too cold. Right? If you have warm weather, I will switch with you. I will live there. You can live here. <laughs> It will be great. <laughs> that will be fine. Better, I will also give you that one. I will give you so that you will not feel cold. <laughs> you would think I have a blanket. I have long sleeves. You think I would be okay, but no. I even have right here. I have a candle, trying to keep me warm. <laughs> <laughs> you need more than a candle. <laughs> no, I need like a hundred candles or a fire or a fire like in my house, like in the fireplace. That would be yeah. good. That'd be good. So, so my uh, name is Rebecca, by the way, what's your name? Yeah, my name is Ayush, and I'm from India. It's so nice to meet you. Can I ask what area in India is that? In Ra in India, Rajasthan. Okay. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> it's it's nearby New Delhi. You know, you know oh, New Delhi. Yes, I do know that one, so <laughs> I can kind of place you. Okay, sounds great. I was just curious. So I think it's right now. It's morning, right? Where where you are right now? Yeah, yeah it's eleven in the morning. Okay, in US. Yeah. Yes, I live in the south of the U.S. Um, near Florida. I live really close to Florida. Okay. So tell me one thing. I have seen many videos of you on YouTube, and oh. I want to ask one thing. Okay. <laughs> But I'm also a YouTuber. I'm very much interested oh. in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very much interested when you say you are interested in buying Tesla, and I am a huge fan of Tesla. <laughs> I love Tesla so much. Honestly, I don't know a lot about the mechanics of Tesla. I just know that they're beautiful cars and they're electric cars, and I like the idea of having an electric car.、Um, actually, my husband is about to buy a Tesla, so I'm very excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, like,、uh, right now you are in、uh, south of the、uh, U.S., right? Yes.、Correct? So how far is Texas there? Because recently I heard that Elon Musk moved factory from California to Texas. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's still really far away from my house.、Um, it's like by car, probably like sixteen hours、okay. by car. Yeah, it, but it's yeah because Texas is huge. So even once you get into Texas, you're still driving for like three or four hours just to move around in Texas.、Um, It used to be California, so I would have to drive like three days across the U.S. to get there, or by plane. It's like five or six hours.、Um, but yeah, Texas is really far away. Unfortunately, it's very sad. So I think you love cars, so you also love driving. I do, I do. I love driving, and I'm a good driver.、Oh. <laughs> I'm good at driving. <laughs> For that, I have to come to U.S. Then you have to、uh, give some tour of U.S. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, absolutely. You might be a little disappointed with where I live. It's not very exciting. I live actually. I live near Florida. I said Florida because most people know the area, but I actually live in Georgia. And、okay. I swear to you, it's the most boring place in the world. <laughs> <laughs> boring in terms? Can you elaborate? Means there are no parties and、uh, something like that, or it's like a. I will elaborate. Now, probably disclaimer. Part of it is because I was born here, and I think、mm -hmm. everyone thinks where they are born is kind of not very exciting.、Um, so that's part of it. But in my city, we have very little city life and a lot of farms. We have a lot of animals, like cows and horses, and people have a lot of land and gardens and. 
Uh, we live in a rural area, a very rural area. Okay. So for me, I don't like this. I like the busy cities. Okay. So how far is New York and uh, major like Miami cities from there, from Georgia? Miami is pretty close. Miami is only about four hours by car, so it's not bad. Um, yeah. New, New York. I'm actually going to New York in February. <laughs> Hopefully, if the coronavirus will allow me to go, <laughs> I'm going to New York in February. But I'm flying. It takes about two hours by plane, by car, probably fifteen or sixteen hours. Oh, fifteen hours! It's yeah. a lot of time. So, in New York, you're going for a job or something? Uh, you want to like uh, traveling something else? Ah, good question. No, it's my birthday, so I'm just taking a trip. Oh my god! Happy birthday! Thank you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, when is your birthday is coming? Like in New Year or before New Year? Yeah, in the New Year in February, um, on the twelfth. So I'm going okay. for like three or four days. I just I never have taken a big trip for my birthday, so I decided this year is a good year. It's been a good yeah. year. Exactly. Let's next year. Let's do a great party in New York. <laughs> right. That sounds great. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. We won't have to wear masks. We can see each other's faces. <laughs> right, right, and and the vaccination is also rolled out, lah. Like Pfizer has rolled out the vaccination, and uh, everybody is getting hit there in USA. I yeah. have seen some something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Can I ask you? Will you get the vaccine? Yeah, I already faced coronavirus. I have COVID two months before, but oh, I survived. God. I'm so. But cool. till now, <laughs> but till now, vaccination not rolled out in India, but yeah. it is in ongoing phase. Like right now, is in phase three. Okay. So maybe we can also get uh, that uh, vaccination so yeah i got you yeah i'm in uh, medical school here so because of the type of school i'm doing it's a requirement so i am required to get the vaccine in the next probably one or two months we'll see you are the you are in the first uh, what i can say first phase like most of the people those are <laughs> getting the vaccine <laughs> no, i'm so annoyed i wanted to see what happens to other people first and then i wanted to get it later <laughs> <laughs> okay because i'm always working in a hospital so because i'm in the hospital so much they were like rebecca you'll be number <laughs> you'll be number 1 <laughs> so okay. rebecca like right now you told that you are from that background like you have to uh, manage that uh, hospital and all things and in your intro you have mentioned that uh, you also speak spanish right si sí. yeah <laughs> how is that like spanish uh, Is mainly spoken in the Mexico, as far as I know. You're right. And yeah, you're I right. only know one word of Spanish: hola. 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 <laughs> It's a good word. It's a good one. <laughs> right. Um. So because I live in the south of the U.S., all the way at the bottom, there's tons of immigrants from South America, especially Mexico, Costa Rica, um, countries like this, who come over into the U.S. and are living in the south. So in my city, in my state, in my whole state, we have a ton of people who don't speak English and who only can speak Spanish. So because of this, I thought, all right, if I want to be a doctor, I'm going to be seeing all different kinds of people from different backgrounds, and it will probably be helpful to speak Spanish. So yeah. that's why I started to learn it when I was a lot younger, and now it has. It's been so helpful, and it's so great to be able to communicate with other people from exactly other- like right like when we speak their language. Yes, like what you're doing <laughs> right now with me. Awesome. <laughs> exactly, it's so great. It's so great. So, Do you know also some Hindi words? I don't know. No? Any, I know a little <laughs> Arabic, but I've never even attempted. Hindi. Teach me something. Teach me how to yeah, say. Yeah, right now I I'm saying a word which means hello. Okay, so in in India, if you come, you you will say namaste. Namaste. Oh really? Namaste. Yeah. What? I didn't know yeah. that. When you greet someone, you can say namaste, and in India, if you come like a uh, hand gesture, namaste. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Okay. I did. So easy. Okay, so I. Don't laugh at me. Okay, do not laugh at me. <laughs> sure. I said don't. Don't. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not okay. laughing. I um I like to do yoga. Okay. And okay. you know, when we practice yoga, well, not when I practice yoga, but when I go to a studio to practice with other people. At the end of the class and the beginning of the class, it's always namaste. In the beginning and the end of the class. 
I did not know that this was a greeting. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that at all. And I've been saying this for years when I go practice yoga and I had no idea. So you're teaching me something. Thank you. <laughs> If you come to India, So when you say namaste they will also feel happy like it's like a normal greeting. <laughs> oh good. Okay, I love this. Thank you for telling me this. Wonderful. Yeah. I will remember for sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So uh, Rebecca like uh, we are in 2020 and uh, December is going out. So have you any plans for 31st? So I actually got married 1 year ago on the 31st on New Year's Eve. That was my wedding. Okay. So we had like a really big party and a really big celebration on the 31st. So, we will be we'll uh we'll be going out of town to celebrate for, you know, our anniversary, the one year and also for New Year's Eve. Um but we'll stay close to the home because obviously you can't really travel very much right now. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> we're just going, you know, a couple hours away from the house and uh we'll have a hotel and we'll celebrate those are my plans those are my plans one more thing i want to say yeah i already told you like in advance happy birthday but now i'm telling you for for the marriage that you have done congrats for the marriage thank you so much <laughs> thank you thank you i appreciate it <laughs> it was a crazy year it was a crazy year to start your marriage because of the coronavirus and everything yeah. we spent so much time together <laughs> <laughs> How much time? <laughs> What about right. you? How do you usually celebrate the new year? Yeah, we also like to do parties and all stuff. Like we are youngsters. I'm not married. I'm single. No. <laughs> so, but this time it's not like that. Uh, we are spending time with the families, and it's been like uh, after eight years, I'm spending time with my parents. Mm -hmm. Usually, I used to study outside. Then I'm doing a job. and i'm also a youtuber i'm also do youtubing yeah and all some digital marketing stuff so this is the first time after 8 years i'm spending the time with my parents so that's a different thing yeah <laughs> yeah that will will be different it's yeah. been totally opposite for me because i've never spent a new years without my family i've always been with my mom or my dad one or the other and we have a really big family i have seven brothers and sisters So oh, that's good. Yeah. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one of them usually at least one of them said, "Rebecca, you want to come with me? Go celebrate New Year's Eve with me." So it's always been with some family member. Some family member. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right. It's been great. Can I ask you, do you have brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have a sister. You have a sister? Are you older? Yeah, I'm older. She's younger. I like that. Yeah. I'm also one of the oldest in my family and I'm so glad I'm not the younger sister. I would be annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I like being older. <laughs> so, let's ask yeah. you, I have kind of a personal question. Yeah, sure. How old are you? I'm 25. You're 25. Okay. Okay. And how about you? I'm you looks like what? No, no, no. What do I look like? Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> first tell me then i will no, 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 no. No, no, no. You tell me. <laughs> I will not. You look quite young like in your 20s like 19, 20, yeah, 21. Yeah. That's it. I'm 21. I guess I guessed it right. Oh, I got. It was one of your guesses. Yes, I'm 21. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Your energy is also good. Your aura is also good and on the point. <laughs> I appreciate it. So you said that you're a YouTuber. You should if you want yeah. to. You should send me your YouTube in a message. Yeah, sure. If you if you can uh, say that, I can also put that video because I'm a YouTuber. I can also want to put that content on my channel. Yes, of course. I want your consent. Absolutely. <laughs> sure. I will share you the link, and I will also book another session with you because there are so many things I have to discuss. Like you have that type of energy and oh, really? something like the Tesla. We haven't talked. I know. Fifteen <laughs> minutes conversation is very short. No. Okay. Great, sounds wonderful. It was so nice to talk to you. It was so nice to meet you. Yeah, same, same here. Last ten <laughs> seconds. Last ten seconds. Um, I love your glasses. That's the last thing I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. I